So in this video, we are going to talk about visualizing and solving the perimeter of any given plane figure. So we are going to explain the perimeter and visualize it through different word problems that involves perimeter. And we, have, we are going to have the first one. We have the problem number one. And it states that the length of each of the equal sides of an isosceles triangle is 4 centimeters and the length of the third side is 7 centimeters. Find the perimeter of the triangle. So first is we are going to illustrate the problem. So it is talking about an isosceles triangle and what is an isosceles triangle? So it's, an, it's a triangle with two sides are equal and one side is not equal to the other two. So in this case we have equal sides of four centimeters. It's given. So let's say this is the four centimeter and the other side is also four centimeter. This makes it isosceles triangle. So the third side is not equal to four centimeters but it is equal to seven centimeters because if it's all four then it's not isosceles it's equilateral triangle so all sides are equal but in our problem it's an isosceles triangle next term is perimeter what is perimeter by the way so it is just the total length of the sides of any figure so in this case it's a triangle it has only three sides so to find the perimeter, meaning to find the total distance of the sides, you just need to add them all. So the perimeter is equal to, so 4 plus 4 plus 7. So that's easy it is. So it's just the total length of the sides. So if there are uh, 6 sides, 5 sides, 10 sides, so you just need to add them all. But you can solve it in different way to make it easier or shorter. But that's the basic idea of perimeter. You need to add all sides or the length of the of all sides of the given figure. So uh, alternatively, you can just do four times two plus seven because there are two fours. But it's not true to all triangle. It's it's just that in this case it's a isosceles triangle. So two sides are the same. So you can do four times two plus seven. So it's gonna be the same answer. So let's just solve this. Four plus four is eight. And then copy plus seven. So eight plus seven is, the perimeter is 15 and the unit is centimeters. So that means the total length of all three sides of this triangle, which is what you call perimeter, is 15 centimeters now let's move on to the next problem problem number two Bobby fences in a rectangular area for his dog to play in the backyard the area measures 15 meters by 25 meters what is the total length of fence that Bobby uses so first is we're going to illustrate the problem it is involving a rectangular shape because it says a rectangular area. And then the dimensions of this rectangle is uh, having a length of 25 meters and the width is 15 meters. Now we're going to look for the total length, meaning the perimeter of this rectangle. Because perimeter is the total length of the sides of any figure so let's solve for the perimeter perimeter is uh, 15 times 2 why times 2 when there is only 15 1 15 in the figure so basically it's 15 in the left and it's going to be the same length at the right side so that's 15 and 15 that's why there are two 15s so it's 15 times 2 plus 25 times 2 as well because there's 25 at the bottom and it's gonna be the same length on top 25 meters 
How sure are we that it's the same 25, 25, and 15, 15? Because if it's not the same, then it's not going to be a rectangle, rectangular shape. For a rectangle, it has to be the same length with opposite sides in both uh, top and bottom and left and right. It must be the same. So if it's given rectangle, then it's given that it must be two equal sides, two pairs of equal sides. So let's move on. Let's solve this. We have 15 times 2 is 30. 25 times 2 is 50. And then we combine them. So 30 plus 50 is 80. And the unit is meters, so it's 80 meters. So you may ask, why does it have to be like that? If we can just add them all, you can actually do that. 20, 15 plus 25 plus 15 plus 25. It's going to be the same answer. So as long as you, you uh, do the concept of the perimeter where it is just the total length of the sides so you know, whatever uh, ways of solving it as long as it's the same concept so basically it's the same if you are going to add it all although it's going to be a bit longer solution now let's have another example we have our problem number three Michael ran six rounds of a square ground of side 12 meters. Find the total distance he ran. So this time it involves a square. So let's have a figure of a square and the length of the side is 12 meters. So it's asking for the total distance he ran. So it's not just the perimeter because the perimeter is the total distance around the figure. But it's given that he ran six rounds around that square, square ground. So let's compute for its perimeter first. So it's 12 and then times 4. So where did we get that times 4? So it's only one side that's 12, but basically it's all four sides, which are all 12 meters, because it's given that it's a square. So a square has... Uh, the same length for all sides and so let's compute the perimeter it's 12 times 4 is 48 but this is not yet the final answer because this is only one round of the square ground it's 48 meters long just to have a one a run uh, of round of the square ground but it's given it's six rounds so we're going to name it T for the total distance he ran. So 48 and then times 6 rounds. So 48 times 6 is 288 and the unit is meters. So don't forget to put the meter at uh, a unit, which is meters. So all in all, he ran for 288 meters in that uh, square ground. So let's have the fourth problem, or problem number four. Find the perimeter of a parallelogram whose length is 15 cm and the width is 12 centimeters. So let's illustrate this first. This is a parallelogram. So basically it's like a, a rectangle with, which is a bit tilted. So that means the uh, one pair of side, uh, one pair of sides is not exactly vertical so it's a bit a bit uh, slanting so the length is 15 centimeters and the width is 12 centimeters so let us find the perimeter so the perimeter is equal to 12 which is at the left side times 2 so the same idea with the rectangle where the other side opposite to it is the same is having the same length plus 15 times 2 because 15 at the bottom is the same length with the top so it's also 15 centimeters so they almost have the same idea with rectangle and parallelogram so again uh, you can do it this way by multiplying by 2 you can also do 12 plus 15 and the answer multiply it by 2 so that you just need to multiply it with 2 once only 
but you can also do multi uh, adding it directly 12 plus 15 plus 12 plus 15 you can do that so as long as you are following the correct rule of solving in math and but uh, if, if you just if you don't want to uh, complicate things you can add it all if you don't want to uh, make it more complicated to think of a solution although it's usually longer solution when you do that so let's do this 12 times 2 is 24 and 15 times 2 is 30 and then get the sum 24 plus 30 is 54 and the unit is centimeters so the total length of the sides of this parallelogram is 54 centimeters or it is the perimeter so let's have another problem problem number five find the perimeter of a trapezoid whose parallel sides measure five units and seven units while the non-parallel sides measure three units and four units so let's illustrate this first how the trapezoid looks like so it's basically like this it has a pair of parallel sides the one on top or at the bottom and non-parallel sides left at, at the right as you can see this non-parallel sides doesn't have the same direction unlike the one at the bottom and at the top so let's label this we have parallel sides of five units and seven units well, the non-parallel sides are having three units and four units length. So there's no given specific unit. So it's just a general term for unit. It's units. And we're tasked to find the perimeter of this trapezoid. So the perimeter is equal to, we're just going, we're just going to add it all directly. We, we can't multiply something with this length since they don't have the same length. Unlike like 5 times 2 or 5 times 3 if there are 3 fives or 2 fives so since it's not uh it's all different lengths so we're going to add it all 3 plus 5 plus 4 plus 7 so 3 plus 5 is 8 and then copy the two numbers 8 plus 4 is 12 and then copy 7 and then 12 plus 7 is 19 so the unit there's no given unit so it's units so the perimeter of this trapezoid is 19 units now let's have another problem problem number six a building at elmira college has a room shaped like an octagon the length of each side of the room is 35 feet what is the perimeter of this room so how does this figure looks like it's an octagon octagon meaning it's an eight-sided uh, figure so let's illustrate it like this and octagon doesn't necessarily have the same all the, all sides have the same length it's not necessarily like that but since it's only one given length so we, we assume that all the sides are having the same length it's only one length given which is 35 feet and we're going to find a perimeter, meaning we're going to find the total length of all the sides. So let's have the given length of the side, which is 35 feet. And we're going to find its perimeter. So the perimeter will be 35 times 8. Because there are 8 sides. And why times 8? Because all the sides are having the same length, which is 35 feet unless there is a, give, a specific given length for each side but since it's only one given length so it's assumed that it's all sides are having the same length 35 feet but as i said uh, the figures have to be specific specifically given but since it's it's only saying that it's an octagon and it's only one length that is given so meaning it's the same length for all sides so we have 35 times 8 which is 280 and that is the perimeter of the octagon so you can actually do 35 plus 35 plus 35 and there are eight 35s in all but it's gonna be longer 
it's going to be the same answer as long as it's just having the same concept that it's the total length of all sides of the figure so that's it that's the perimeter of this octagon thanks for watching and i hope you have learned from this video please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section